Hello and welcome to my channel. If you're new to my channel, consider subscribing. My channel primary content is maintenance, maintenance related content, uh, reviews of more oils, gear oils and so on. So basically maintenance front to back, top to bottom and everything in between. You're gonna find very interesting information either repairs or maintenance. Uh, I am not brand loyal or one vehicle spe specific or one more oil brand specific channel. No, you're gonna find all kind of information on my channel. That's why consider subscribing, like this video. And today I'm gonna give you some of the interesting details about this motor oil AC Delta Dexos D. Everything you wanna know. And oil analysis from an actual vehicle, from an actual uh, 3.0 Duramax engine, 2020 Duramax GMC 3.0. Some other interesting facts. So this oil, you know, uh, if you look at the bottle, it says Dexos D. What does that Dexos D means? You know what I mean? People say it has to be approved by Dexos D. So we're going to look into it. What does it mean by Dexos D approved? And then if you look at in the back, uh, there is some details. It says uh, made in USA at the bottom. It doesn't tell you much of the details if it meets any other specifications. So we don't know if it meets or does not meet other more royal specifications that are out there you know like api specifications for diesel engine specifications uh and and so on international specifications for all there is all kind of specifications we don't know if it meets or not so i'm not gonna say it does not meet i'm not gonna say it does meet because we don't know that it doesn't say in a barrel it says only dexos d uh label so what is dexos d dexos name itself is a gm pro not proprietary it's the uh, the trademark owned by GM so any oil any brands of oil that they want to use that name they gotta pay GM for it for every bottle of oil some other company says with this name on it they have to pay GM so they have to get a license a permission from GM to use that name on, their, on their bottles specifications is a different story specifications for Dexos are they're out there they're not proprietary anyone can develop an oil that meets and exceeds dexos from uh, gm owner's manual use engine oils oils not oil oils that meet the dexos d specifications it does not say the bottle has to be labeled with dexos d it, it says use engine oil that meet oils it not all one use engine oils oils mean you can use means it's already implying that you can use other brands that meet dexos d specifications oils it does not say oil it does not say this specific brand only ac delco or with this label only it doesn't say that oil has to have labeled look at the, look at the further engine oils that have been approved by gm it doesn't say AC Delco oils approved by GM as meeting Dexos D specifications are marked with Dexos D approved logo. But it doesn't say that oil must have this label. What it says that if it has the label, it's approved by GM or previous oils that meets the specification use engine oils that meet dexos d specification so there you go that's the number one mistake people make they don't read their owner manuals and they come to my channel and they just blast it has to meet api specifications it has to be api certified api approved show me an owner's manual that it says that oil has to be uh, api approved or api logos on it i have wasn't able to find it for gasoline even engines not even talking about diesel so let's move on i don't want to take too much time talking about this here so dexos d so it has to, so the oil has to meet the specifications if it has the label it means it's approved by gm but it doesn't mean it has to have this label there is nowhere in a, in a uh, owner's manual says the oil must have this label oil analysis report itself uh it's a 2020 gmc 3.0 
uh, diesel engine mileage on this vehicle and you you can see you can follow you can pause I'm gonna touch some of the points not everything uh, mileage on this vehicle is 14,000 and a half oil mileage on the oil is 7,000 miles highway driven this is a highway driven 3.0 Duramax GMC 2020 uh, as you can see from the top corner oil still good and very often we don't realize oil can be good but the numbers could be bad that's what you have to look you know what i mean it, you, you can have an oil that's still in the specifications but a lot of wear a lot of wear numbers it mean it means the oil still retains its original specs but it's not providing proper lubrication so Let's look at the iron. I like to look at the iron for 64 parts per million for 7,000 miles. That's a lot. That's extreme. It's extremely a lot. So when I say it's a lot, when I compare 64 to the, I have done many oil analysis, and for 7,000 miles, that's a triple wear number for an average engine. A Duramax 6.6, 6.6 with a different oil will have only at 7,000 miles 27 parts per million. 27. So 64, it's about three times more wear. So that's extreme. Another thing I want to notice look at the aluminum. Aluminum is high. There is no doubt it's high. It's why is it high? Why is iron is high? Because oil is not providing proper lubrication. You have a lot of metal against metal. Aluminum. Nickel. Nickel is high too. Most of the oils that I see, I don't see nickel. Chromium is very rare unless we're talking about, you know, 15, 20,000 miles on oil. You might see one. Nickel is rare. So you have a lot of metal generated with this oil. So that means you have a lot of metal against metal. Oil is not providing proper lubrication. Uh, aluminum. Six is high. Six is high. Six parts per million is high. Look at the copper. Where is the copper coming from? Well, copper is your turbo bushings. Uh, that's the only place I can think they used copper. There might be some other components. Bushings, maybe, I don't know what else could be. More like a turbo. Truba is definitely, 8 is excessive. For a 3.0 small engine, diesel engine, that's excessive. That's way too high. Next, look at the silver. Never seen a silver as a wear metal. So this oil is definitely generating some wear and some precious metals. You can actually become rich from using this oil and your Duramax, right? You know, we have silver, just put a screen and you might get some uh, nuggets of silver, some chunks of silver in your oil. On the next uh, oil change, I'm gonna ask this guy to get a sample and guess what I'm expecting on the next oil sample? Some gold and some diamonds. Well, I'm just kidding guys. I'm not expecting any gold or diamonds out of this oil. I wasn't expecting silver, never seen a silver. But, joking aside, uh, silver, there is a problem. When uh, oil generates silver, you have a problem. It means serious problems. There is something going on that it generates silver. You know what I mean? I've never seen it. It's just, it's not normal. And then all other numbers you can read on your own. I'm not going to go into it. I'm going to touch base on some other numbers. Uh, field dilution, which is pretty good. DPF regen. But 0.04. Fuel dilution is excellent. I would love to see the, the, those kind of numbers with direct injection gas engines. You'll never see, it, but that's a different topic. Uh, fluid properties, uh, base number. Base number is good, 4.3. You know, the oil is still good. You can still use it, but you're gonna have a lot of wear on your engine. The question is, do you wanna use this oil in your car? And by the time you reach 60, 70,000 miles, you're gonna have you're going to be dumping oil because your rings, your turbo, it's going to be burning oil like crazy 
because you have a worn out engine and you're gonna be like what's going on why is my engine consuming oil why is this and that why my turbo failing? why is leaking my oil everywhere why some people use catch cans you know what i mean why my catch can full of oil well there you go you know this oil is cheap this ac delta oil it's a low quality oil you should not be getting 64 iron you should not be getting silver if you use quality oil you can use there's other brands that make oil that that meets dexos d specifications now you know that oil doesn't need to have dexos d label logo it needs to meet the, the specifications does every oil out there zero double twenty for diesel meets the specifications of dexos d i don't know you gotta look in i'll post a link for the one that does meets take a look it's a good quality oil and uh i'm gonna see if i can get this guy his customer to start using them so if we can get the numbers you know what i mean i can try it and uh but we'll see we'll see if it's you know what i mean if he's going to decide it or not it's going to be up to him and i'm not sure if he's leasing the truck or he bought the truck i don't know what's the story but what's interesting he does not take his truck to a dealer for service he takes to his independent shop he brings he buys his own oil filter and brings to this independent shop or guy changes for him because he likes the service that guy provides better than a dealer so going back to this report you can read more on details in details everything is here if you have questions comments you can ask me in the comment section if you want my recommendation you can ask me in the comment section i'll give you my recommendation if i had this truck i would never use this oil ac delco it's a, it's the, you know what i mean the numbers are just poor when i compare to duramax 6.0 numbers they are much lower for a bigger v8 that has twice as, twice more power twice more the torque and longer change intervals and still has a less lower number so so these numbers are definitely uh shows how low quality this oil is so if you have duramax let me know what oil are you using and would you use this oil again yes please share this video with others and thank you for watching it and have an awesome day